I'm very excited to be able to introduce to you Will Hart and Jessica Tate, who is a, an amazing woman, and he is an amazing man. <laughs> and uh, they're both going to be speakers at Greater Things, among other speakers. And so I'm going to be uh, asking him a couple of questions, and I hope to see you at Greater Things. Will. Yeah. You've seen so many people touch so powerfully, even young children and teenagers, as well as adults. Um, how important do you think impartation is, since that is the major theme of greater things? Yeah. It's incredibly important. And I have to be really careful because I learned this from you. Uh, but it's so important. And, and I love the word impartation, but I also love, uh, you know, the Brazilian word as well. They don't have a word for impartation. Um, you know, it, it, transference of anointing. I think so often we can get caught up with a, with a word, but the reality is these are encounters with the Lord, right? These are powerful encounters that mark people for the rest of the, their lives. And that's all I want to be a part of, preaching the gospel and watching people encounter the Holy Spirit. These markers, these, these stamps on their life, these these times when the Holy Spirit fills them up and, and they give themselves, they give everything that they, that they have to Jesus, it, I live for it. And, and it is so important. I know you know this and Jess, but like as I go back, I, I, yes, I remember Sunday school classes. Yes, I remember church services. Yes, I remember the people that encouraged me. But the moments that the Holy Spirit fell on me and touched me, changed me forever and I'm yeah. doing everything because of those moments because of those encounters so I mean we're, we're, we're here in Pennsylvania right now because tonight we're, we're going off to pray for 40 400 kids crying out for the same thing I will give my life to watch people encounter the Holy Spirit it is it's everything yeah that's amazing okay. it is you know we talked about transference of the anointing but the anointing that's being transferred is the anointing of God yeah. on you, but it's God, His anointing is on you, yeah. that what God transfers. So sometimes people think that we believe that we can do it. Right. Right. And I know that you guys know <laughs> that we can't do it. Nope. That's why it's so important to be in the right atmosphere too. Worship, where there's been teaching and testimonies, creates hunger and faith, for, and then more happens. Yeah. And it's... Uh, it's something the Holy Spirit does, but I love the people through whom he does it. Um, so Jessica. Yeah, I mean, so similar, so similar to Will, right? I've seen measurable increase in my walk with the Lord um, in the amount of miracles we see, the prophetic uh, based off of different prayers, like spending time with you, my spiritual mom, Joe Moody, different, different people. I've seen impartation bring breakthrough, even at times sometimes where you know, when you're hungry, like you're like, God, just come, you know, do anything on me. Uh, just what, whatever you want to do, come and do it. Right. And sometimes the greatest measures of breakthrough for me have not come uh, from things that I thought they would come from. They've come from prayers from other people and those moments of impartation. And I think one of the, the cool things about greater things is people come in this conference is so based around impartation. Every single speaker that comes does some level yeah. of impartation ministry. So there's so many opportunities to receive from different people who have hungered after breakthrough, who have come and paid the price, you know, and right. sacrificed and done these different things. So for well, me, it's, yeah, it's Well, huge. I was just gonna add, break in a minute. Yeah, you the, can. Anytime. The name of your ministry is yep. Yielded. Yes, sir. What part yeah. does that have to do yeah. with transference yeah. of anointing or So quick, ver quick version of this is I had a, a radical encounter out of Daniel 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when Nebuchadnezzar is persecuting them and uh, he, he's going to murder them. And he's like, turn up the fire even hotter, right? And when they don't get burned, the Bible says they didn't smell like smoke. He comes back and he says, he, t he makes a declaration that the entire nation will serve the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he says, because they did not yield to the king, but instead yielded their lives to their God. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I had that encounter, the Lord asked me, what could I do through a yielded people? Wow. And so that's why it's called Yielded Ministries. I love the word. I, yeah. it's, if, I, if I wanted a tattoo, that's probably the word I would get tattooed on me somewhere. <laughs> but, 
but I don't want a tattoo, so I don't have one. But come on, Jess, we're doing it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're in Pennsylvania. You well, your iris no, tattoo is so big across <laughs> it's your just back, a so. full back tat. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, so yeah, like I think that's the thing for me when I think about yielded lives, and I you have an incredible message on obedience. Yeah. Um, about filling up the vessels, and you say, "When did the miracle occur?" Right, and you're telling the story of Jesus at the wedding at Cana, and you say, "It's the it's the moment." they obeyed. Mm. And so there is something about being yielded to the Lord, emptying out the vessel and just saying, Hey, my life is on the altar. Come and fill me up. Um, and you see this with hungry people at greater things as they run to the altar and, and many of the conferences you do, right? Where people come hungry, empty vessel yielded before the Lord saying, God, I just want more of you fill me up. Mm. Um, and what the Lord can do with a life that's yielded the cool story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is he literally makes a declaration for an entire nation All right. to turn um, because they yielded their lives to the wow. Lord and not to man. So oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's so exciting. Yeah. So uh, I really want to encourage you to come to greater things in uh, Oklahoma City, and it's going to be extremely powerful. I know that, uh, um, like, Jessica said, almost every speaker will focus primarily on uh, impartation. And this conference, more than any other conference we do, we have impartation in every conference, but this is the conference, that this is the focus, this is the primary focus of this, of this conference. So I hope you'll be able to join us. And uh, God, I, I do believe that there's gonna be a lot of people who are yielded, yeah. for those that are yielded, yeah. who come and say, make me a coin in your pocket and spend me any way you want. That's a form of yieldedness. Yeah, for sure. They're going to be touched. Yeah. And God is going to extend his kingdom through those he touches because they will carry his power and his authority in a new way. Come join us at Greater Things.